In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Faraday cage in five minutes with three items. Details on all three items are listed under the description. You might want to take a look there anyway for any updated information regarding Faraday cages. For this cage, you need a barren six gallon steel trash can, a red Gorilla 14 liter plastic tub, and some aluminum tape. First, use aluminum tape to seal up all the seams inside the bucket, including where the handle is attached to the sides. Don't forget to tape up underneath where the handle is attached to the lid. Second, place the plastic tub inside the bucket. It might buckle a little on the sides, but that's okay. This protects your metal items from touching the can. Third, just put the lid on. Now that's a Faraday cage. To test it, place an AM radio with a strong signal or a scanner inside the bucket and put the lid on. If the signal goes away, you should have about 50 dB shielding, which should be enough shielding for an EMP. There's no way to know exactly what the shielding number is without a spectrum analyzer, but it should be close. Please see my information source under the description below. If a signal still gets through, try putting some aluminum tape on the rim of the trash can opening like I had to do with my larger trash can. It's possible your lid is not sealing well enough. See the link under the description about some material other than the aluminum tape that should help with this. Because we've never experienced an EMP, as an additional precaution, you can place priority items in a Faraday bag or a static bag or even a plastic bag with foil wrapped around it. This should provide, along with the trash can, about 100 dB total shielding, which is about 50 more than technically needed. I do this for things I hardly ever need to remove from the can. To test this additional protection, use a couple of two-way radios like my Midland GXTs. If I put one in the cage, the signal is so strong that the cage alone will not block it. Test, testing, test, testing. Testing, 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 testing. If I put the radio in a plastic bag and wrap it in foil, the signal still gets through. Test, testing, testing, testing. But if I put it in the Faraday cage with foil testing, wrapped around testing. it, the signal does not get through. That's because the cage and the foil together are shielding about 100 dB. Testing, testing, testing. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you liked it, please hit like. And if you found it informative, please share. Don't forget to subscribe. Again, thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.